So Senator Warren took part in a candidate forum in New Hampshire last week that quickly took a turn after a long exchange, a bit of an awkward moment when she was asked about her Native American heritage. Watch this exchange. And my three-year-old twins are black. Uh -huh. And so it's given me a totally different perspective on the purpose of affirmative action. My children at age three and a half have already faced racism. That's why we have affirmative action. So I struggle with your decisions earlier in your career to self-identify on state documents as Native American. Mm -hmm. I feel that that um, disrespected the reason why we have those affirmative action categories. Mm -hmm. So how do you overcome the bridge with voters like me who like you, who like your plans, who like what you have to say, but I have concerns about your honesty. Very interesting question. Joining me now exclusively is the voter who asked that question, Elizabeth Radisick, is a former teacher from New Hampshire. Elizabeth, thank you very much uh, for coming in tonight and talking with me. I want to play, you know, part of her answer to you, and then I want to ask you, you know, how you felt about the answer. Let's watch. Even so, I shouldn't have done it. I am not a person of color. I am not a citizen of a tribe. And I've apologized for um, it, any confusion. So that's just a little piece of the answer. It went on for a long time. What was your response? What were you right. thinking? I, I think that if she had stopped at her initial statement, she would have been a lot better off. Uh, she apologized. She uh, admitted that she had made a mistake. But then she went on to uh, go into more information about housing and affirmative action, which at that point I felt like she was starting to pander to me instead of giving me an honest answer about where she had made a mistake. So just to clarify the point for everybody at home, you know, what was the point that you were trying to make about affirmative action uh, as it applies to your family? And I think we have some pictures of you with, with some of your kids um, uh, on the campaign trail as you fill us in there. Yes. Well, um, again, the point I was trying to make is that the reason that we have affirmative action is f to help people of color um, ha gain uh, access to things like jobs, housing, um, whatnot. And when she chose to identify herself as a person of color, I feel like she took advantage of that. She says that she didn't receive any benefits, and I believe her when she says that. But as someone who has a similar family narrative, who had always heard that I had a, uh, a Native grandparent, it never occurred to me that I should put that on an official form and try to represent myself as Native American. The only reason that someone would do that is to try to get a leg up, I can imagine. Yeah. There, I mean, you made a great point. You, you guys had a lot in common besides your name, also this sort of misunderstanding <laughs> about some of your own ancestors. So it's hard to imagine somebody who could be more suited to ask that question than you, Elizabeth. Did it change your mind? Like, how do you feel about her as a candidate now? And who do, who do, who do you like out there? Um, I would say that she's probably in my bottom tier of candidates. I've seen uh, 14 candidates so far in person. I've seen 13 Democrats and one Republican. Uh, I would say that in my top candidate, my top tier are probably going to be your more moderate candidates like uh, Cory Booker, mm -hmm. Amy Klobuchar, Pete Buttigieg, Julian Castro, and Kirsten Gillibrand. And what about Joe Biden? Um. You know, I have a ton of respect for Vice President Biden, and I think he is an amazing American, but I think that we have a next generation of leaders that uh, are out to, uh, that really have an opportunity to defeat President Trump. Yeah. Uh, President Trump does not uh, represent my form of Christian values, and I would love to see either an alternative Republican or a moderate Democrat yeah. who would represent Very my Christian values. They're wrapping me. I got to go. But just, just tell everyone the names of your two children before we go, because I love them. Oh, I, my son is Grant Roosevelt, and my daughter is Reagan Kennedy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Um, you are a good, you, a very Martha. good questioner and a thoughtful voter. So we thank you very much for being here. Good to see you tonight.
Thank you.